What's up, Finnabenders? And today, I'm going to be reviewing LEGO Star Wars set 75346 Pirate Snub Fighter. It has 285 pieces, it retails for $35, and has two minifigures. And let's just go over the box real quick. You get a nice picture of the Snub Fighter with meteorites around it, looking like it's in a space fight with the blasters firing. Get our nice minifigures here, get the nice Mandalorian showing. And I love this new Star Wars box art that's been around for about a year, I believe. Or two, maybe, actually, about, I think by this point, too. We do get a minifigure showing there, Vane, uh, probably the main character in this, from the Mandalorian, main pirate dude. And then we get some nice side box art on the back. We do get some features, just some pictures of a volcanic area. I believe this is the planet that the Mandalorian usually originates from in the Mandalorian. Otherwise, nothing too crazy. Let's get this set open up, and let's see what's inside. I didn't do the best part of cutting the tab off some of the boxes on there, but it's not a big deal. Let's pull out the instructions first and go over that. Oh, let's just get the sticker sheet out of the way. You get a small sticker sheet, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, for $35, I do expect that. And here's the new type of instructions. This guy actually looks like he's about to kill his own fighter here. It's kind of wild. Looks nice. I mean, these new instructions, they're okay. I, I like the older ones, in my opinion, more. We do get some advertisements of that wave. Quite an interesting assortment. And then, obviously, it's going to be your generic instructions. You know how that stuff works. We're not going to go over too crazy. Let's get a bag out and see what number we get. We do get bag one. Oh, this is a pretty big bag. Let's get everything else out here. <laughs> wow. Very small amount here. Two bags. That's it, guys. Let's get to the minifigures now. Our first minifigure is going to be Vane, which is the main pirate in Mandalorian Season 3 that confronts um, the Mandalorian and all that, and his friend on the planet. Do you remember that part? He has a nice, angry-looking face with the nice horns on his face. Very detailed. Very detailed torso and legs just by looking at it. Dark brown, green, all sorts of nice coloring. Same as some simple um, back print. And just to show you on the back there, you do get a little bit of head, back head design. And he does get a little, like, band bandana wrapped around. It looks really nice. looks really cool. And he does get a sword as a weapon in this set. But don't worry. Since it's Star Wars, swords aren't going to be all that practical. You do get an extra blaster in this set to put on him. Anyway, let's go to our other minifigure. Our other minifigure is going to be the Snub Fighter Pilot. And this is so much better than Vayne. This is such a cool minifigure. You get a nice gold helmet with lots of detail. It's an X-Wing helmet. Super cool. You get a lot of detail on the torso, the leggings. It just flows so nice with the nice yellow, silvery gray on the torso. Get some nice honeycomb back print there. And you get a blaster pistol to top it all off. And you're going to notice it's going to be the exact same face for both minifigures as they're the same exact alien. Just going to be, I don't know, different people, except they just look the same. Anyway, that's our minifigures. Let's go to the set. And here's the Snub Fighter. This is one of my little favorite Lego space fighters in Lego form. It's a pretty fun little set. This is going to show you that right off the bat. Let's just go through it. It's predominantly going to be light gray and dark gray. That's actually the two color schemes of it all. You get a nice sort of hammerhead shape in the front. That's what I enjoy a lot. And you get two dual blasters on each side here, or two laser guns, I guess you would put it that way to shoot. You do get some nice stickering detail on the front. And looks pretty good. Get some nice light gray detailing. I like how the main body is like light gray with some black underneath, and then the light gray accents. That's what I like. It's actually really cool looking. And then we get some stud shooters on the side here. I hope I don't lose that, but yeah, that's how stud shooters work if you didn't know. And then going on to the back, you get a nice long cockpit um, windshield piece. Just going to show that there. You actually do get some stickers on the side, which is quite rare to see actual Lego windshield pieces have stickers these days. It's very rare. Then we get to the wing that does have stickers on one side, not both, with the engine right here on each side. And there's going to be an engine in the middle, but you can see here, there's here's probably the main engine compartment right here, just because... It's like a big section, so where a lot of machinery is going to work in for the ship here. So nothing too crazy. Then on the back, we get to get the firing things there. Pretty nice looking. I do like that. And the bottom is going to be very simplistic. It will sit nicely. There's going to be no problem with it being not level. No landing gear, no nothing. No big deal at all. Probably some exposed pieces that maybe shouldn't be exposed. But it's not a big deal since it's underneath and not above. So not that big of a deal. Let's get to the play features now. There's actually quite a few besides the... Stud shooter that we have right here, which I will show you how to put that stud back in just because I have this in my hand. And, oh wow, I'm really showing you it. 
There we go. Okay, anyway, the plate features, there's quite a few here. Right here, you can lift this piece off right there, and you do expose some storage space, which you can pull out a box, which then has a, I believe, a thermal detonator. Yep, a thermal detonator. These are pirates, after all, so you need a lot of thermal detonators indeed so you can just close that back up i actually like that little feature it's kind of like hey look we have this big box here let's do something with it looky looky there you go for 35 dollars, you do get a little bit extra play features here lifting up the cockpit obviously you can put the pilot in before we do that you get even more storage in this set by lifting up this piece you get enough storage um for an extra for another thermal detonator i think this is an extra thermal detonator and a extra stud shooting piece and if you want to you can take a pistol a blaster pistol and put it right on in there which is pretty great and not only that i that will fit perfectly well those three items will fit easily of course i put the thermal detonator in wrong so it's not going to fit as well those those three can fit perfectly and if you feel like it you do get an extra blaster pistol in this set right here so you know, just have him to hold it or you i think you can even fit two blaster pistols in here i think it's a very tight fit it's very hard to do but boom right there you can fit all that in that little compartment there just going to show you it one more time because that's actually quite impressive two blaster pistols a thermal detonator and a red stud extra stud there for your flick fire missiles, but not your flick fire for your stud shooters anyway i've been rattling on you take your pilot now go in the cockpit here there's your cockpit right in there pretty simple got some handlebars got a nice control panel and got some basic seating it's nothing too complex it's a fighter pilot set not a not a space yacht where you're getting a nice looking set close that down and there's your pilot inside looks actually really nice i actually like it in there oh i actually like him because then it also adds a nice new color to the set but also dulls his colors because he's a pretty flamboyant character for lego i for lego star wars not lego for star wars in general but yeah otherwise the set's very swooshable it's really fun to play with very small easy to grip for a young kid so it's a perfect set for a kid it's also a nice display set if you're an adult because i think this looks really good i really like how this looks really sleek really nice design you can easily fly it around and all that so yeah it's pretty much it's pretty much it let's go to the overall review. overall i give this set an nine out of ten i think it's a really solid star wars set my only qualm with this set is the 35 dollar price range which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion otherwise this set's amazing you get basically i would like to say three plate four play features two storage sections right there and right there that's not really a play play feature but it's something fun to do with this set so i always just call it the play feature it's storage for a reason it's there for fun it doesn't have to be there for practicality of display but at the same time those storage pieces do not take away from the display of the set it still looks clean looks nice you get the fighter pilot seat and of course you get those stud shooters and the extra and the other minifigure that you get here in this set for 35 dollars thank goodness adding an extra minifigure this kind of suck if you only get one I mean, it'd be even cooler if you got three. Not a Mandalorian minifigure. Maybe just another, like, default pirate figure. That would be nice. But two is fine in this set since it's a fighter pilot. I'm not really going to expect them to add a ton of extra minifigures because there's nothing for the other minifigures to do. So it's fine to get just one extra because this looks pretty nice and I like the sword piece. Anyway, guys, that's it for this set. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not a friend of video, yet, I suggest that subscribe button. We are the fastest growing car crash in America. Check out my Lego content and check out my Clash of Clans content. And bye.